We talk about EU climate and agricultural policy as if it were a solution to the existential crisis we face. But the fact is, the opposite is true. EU policy is a massive driver of climate breakdown and extreme weather events. EU fossil fuel subsidies were on average 56 billion euro per year between 2015 and 2021. Last year, EU fossil fuel subsidies were 123 billion euro. So even now, the EU is subsidizing the destruction of life on Earth. EU agricultural subsidies favor agribusiness over small and medium scale farms. EU policies and trade deals like Mercosur destroy the possibilities of farmers to sustain their families around the globe. Given these absurd and dangerous policies, asking farmers to produce grains or apples is akin to asking them to produce miracles. Thank you. Uh, do, you, do you accept the blue card from Mr. Ben Huber? Okay. Mr. Ben Huber. Well, you talk a lot about Europe. Well, Europe is responsible for about 12% of uh, global greenhouse gases and blaming European agriculture for climate change around the world. That's a tiny percentage of, uh, as a contribution to cl global climate change. My question is, what have you done actively to contribute to uh, uh, preventing climate change? Because it's great to p pass on the blame to somebody else, but what have you done yourself? Well, I could try and summarize. The states of the global north, historically, have emitted 92% of the greenhouse gases around the world. In Germany, where I was born, we've got the fourth highest emissions level in the uh, global level. We do not have the fourth largest population. So German specifically has a great deal uh, of responsibility. I was trained as uh, an ecologist and I cannot be responsible for an agriculture that reduces biodiversity.